Right now on a very warm Friday evening here on the WHS 1119, we are getting you ready for a blistering hot Saturday. It's going to be hotter than today. The heat wave is still with us. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. When we left you at 6 o'clock right here on WHS 11 News tonight, the heat index was 101 degrees. And we've got team coverage on the night team, so you're not caught off guard over the weekend. The Funk Fest final act of the night just hit the stage a little before we went on the air tonight, and a large crowd has cleared out. You see the stage and the empty seats as they're getting ready for tomorrow's performances. Our Taylor Woods will be joining us to show us how they're going to be staying cool there. But first, right now, we want to join meteorologist Colleen Peterson, how it's shaping up overnight. And what about those uh, Saturday morning temperatures, Colleen? You know, yeah. everybody's going to at least try to enjoy some parts of the day. Well, it's going to be in the low 80s and upper 70s. Yes, it's a lot better than upper 90s, but it is still going to start out warm. When we get this hot, it just takes way too long for the surface to cool off. Right now, we have some uh, uh, temperatures at 86 degrees here in Louisville, 88 right now. Most clear skies and we're going to stay nice and sunny tomorrow. In fact, more sunshine than clouds compared to what we saw today. Very hot forecast high of 97 degrees. We have triple digits for the heat index, but I don't think we are going to get above 101 because if we got to 103, 105, that's where we can start to see some of the heat advisories uh, take place, which are actually in effect over Cincinnati. Here in Louisville, we're not under any of those advisories. We're just on the fringe of seeing it, but the whole state of Ohio is under a heat advisory with some hot temperatures in store here across Kentucky and Indiana. Now, it is going to stay rather hot. This ridge is going to stick around for a little while, but it's going to retreat off to the west as we head towards next Wednesday. But even then, we're still going to be in the 90s, maybe get down to the upper 80s. Now, tomorrow we are focusing on the heat index. I'll, I'm going to walk you through hour by hour to help you plan your weekend. Doug? Okay, Colleen, we'll look for that. Thank you very much. Afternoon racing at Churchill Downs was still a go today despite the heat. Trainers doing all they can to keep the horses cool. Plus, a huge outdoor event is underway on the waterfront, and organizers say they're ready to handle the hot crowds. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Aspen Hester show us the creative ways people are looking to beat the heat. Fans face race! Fans, From fans fans. to face racks, Derek McCollum is doing what he can to make sure everyone stays cool at this year's Funk Fest at Waterfront Park. Right, you can get a fan for five dollars, face rack three for five. McCollum traveled from Atlanta to Louisville with his son and friend. He's no stranger to heat, but when he saw this week's temperature in the high 90s, he didn't hesitate to take a road trip. And we looked at the weather to see if it was going to be hot, so we accommodated to the weather. Across the street, Cheryl Rice is selling cold bottles of water. Well, hydration is going to be the most important thing thing, you know, so if I can help out, here we are. Water stations are set up inside and outside the venue, but Funk Fest attendees are being told to hydrate before coming. You know you're coming outside, so continue to hydrate before you come. And like I said, we have water stations set up. Thousands of fans are coming in town for the two-day lineup. Friday night is hip-hop, and on Saturday, R&B artists will be performing. Besides just hydrating, concert goers like Nicole Barino have been at the waterfront for hours with their lawn chairs in nicely shaded areas. Well, the sun keep peaking in and out, but you know, just trying to get some shade really much. Some say it's all about the experience despite the heat. I'm gonna dance to some music and I'm gonna vibe with my family. At Churchill Downs, horse trainers like Dale Romans are making sure all horses are kept cool after a full afternoon of racing. But hot, heat can be hard on horses. One thing good about this year is we gradually got into it. Roman says horses are being hydrated and they have fans on them while they're in their stalls. We give them a nice cold alcohol bath and uh, it helps to get the water back off of them so there's not an insulated barrier. It's the key to beating the heat when you are running at top speed under the spires. In Louisville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side. And all new tonight here on the night team in this heat. The last thing you want to lose is your air conditioning. But for one local business, they had no choice. That's exactly what happened to them. Uh, the work of thieves, apparently, in a post to social media, uh, media, Panchito's Ice Cream says their air conditioning unit right here was stolen right from their rooftop at Dixie Highway location. The ice cream shop says, says that they'll be closed at this location until further notice. You can see what happened there to allow them time to order a new unit and then install it. They don't have a timeline for when they'll reopen, but encourage people to head to their Preston Highway location, which remains open. 
Well, Louisville loves its church picnics and that heat index of a 101 that we've been telling you about was hitting right as St. Martha's Church kicked off their picnic today. Winning number is 26. Well, they're hoping the spin of the wheel brought them at least better luck with the weather. The picnic on Klondike Lane is one of our area's largest Catholic parish picnics. This year is the 51st edition of the picnic. Plenty to enjoy. Tonight's dinner was held inside, which helped people escape the heat. But there was still plenty for folks to enjoy outside, and organizers made sure anybody outdoors could enjoy the fun safely. We have various water and drink stations all across the property, so you pretty much, you can't go anywhere without seeing a drink station right ahead. You know, we have several first responders on property. We've got a lot just to protect everybody from the heat. We also have a lot of signs posted up everywhere, signs of yes. heat exhaustion, so we are all looking out for you. Heat's not stopping them. The picnic, the picnic continues tomorrow, where you can eat a chicken dinner, and the entire event kicks off at 4 in the afternoon. Basically, Fort Ice is like a good, a good vibe. So for people to do this is like, how can we get justice for the people that lost their lives for just coming to get lunch? Right now we have the latest from Southern Arkansas, the latest on that mass shooting in Fordyce, which is 70 miles south of Little Rock. This morning a gunman opened fire at a grocery store, killing three people and injuring 10 others, including two police officers. Police say the gunman acted alone and was injured in a shootout with police. The shooter now is in police custody, identified as 44-year-old Travis Eugene Posey. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest on this investigation. Terror and heartbreak ripping through this small town in Arkansas after a gunman opened fire at this local grocery store about 70 miles south of Little Rock. We are live here at Mad Butcher in Fordyce, and there is a shooting going on. Listen to the sound of gunfire as the violence played out. Witnesses capturing the horrifying scene on their cell phones. There's somebody lying in the parking lot, shot. Police say the shooting happened around 11.30 a.m. local time. Amaya Doherty was inside her car during the chaos. I heard like boom, boom, and then I looked and I thought it was fireworks. I seen a man with his groceries with some khaki shorts on and he just dropped back. And then I seen a man, he had, I think it was an AK, he had rounds and he was just shooting, like he was shooting. And I locked the door and I got real low. Hours after the shooting, officials providing an update. Unfortunately, we can confirm that 11 innocent civilians were shot and three of those are deceased. Victims' injuries range from non-life-threatening to critical, according to authorities. Arkansas State Police say two officers were also shot while exchanging gunfire with the gunman, who is now in custody. Police say the shooter and the two officers wounded all have non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators believe the suspect acted alone, but so far, police not saying what may have prompted their attack. Neighbors left shaken by this tragedy. This is something scary. This is something new like for all of us. And if I come to Mad Butcher to get some lunch, I'm coming to get some lunch. Not to be worried about our lives. And the FBI and the ATF are assisting in the investigation into the shooter's motive. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles. The Indiana Court of Appeals has denied the former Clark County, Indiana Sheriff Jamie Knowles' appeal to overturn his original bond amount. Knowles is facing several felonies for corrupt business practices, official misconduct, tax evasion, and theft. Judge Larry Medlock originally set Knowles' bond at $75,000 and ordered him to turn in his trans, uh, passport and then most of his firearms. Noel posted that bond within an hour of the hearing. His attorneys had argued that Noel didn't show that he deserved such high restrictions. But in the ruling, the appellate court said it was unpersuaded by Noel's request. But ever since all of that happened, Noel has been hit with six new charges. So Judge Medlock upped his bond to $1.5 million, and Jamie Noel remains in jail tonight. It's been a busy week for LMPD, battling controversy, and now that new sexual harassment lawsuit, there's two of them, one including a drunken pool party. But today, they're working to highlight what they can call a win for the city. Take a look. Police have made arrests in a serial burglary case, recovering thousands of dollars worth of stolen property. Detectives executed search warrants at properties in two different neighborhoods in southwest Jefferson County between PRP and Shively, finding everything from lawnmowers to power tools and drugs. So far, LMPD has made three arrests in connection to the thefts. 
It took us uh, a couple weeks to kind of see the pattern that we had. It was obviously a serial burglar. These weren't just random burglaries. Many of the items seized are still unclaimed, by the way. If you believe any of those items belong to you or if your home was burglarized or your, gar or your garage was also hit in the last couple of months, you need to contact police. LMPD says even if you have not filed a report yet, they'll work with you to get your belongings right back to you. Getting closer to that huge November opening date. Today we got the first look inside the new Norton West Louisville Hospital. Today a tour of how it's coming together for future patients. The new location will offer general surgery, pediatric primary care, orthopedics, and a full-time pharmacy, plus more than 20 full-time hospital beds. Right now, heavy equipment still surrounds the outside, while paneling and flooring are being put into place inside. Once it's finished, it should look like uh, some of these renderings you see here. The ways that we can build trust and relationships that, that healthcare systems haven't been able to in the past really is what this facility is all about. So we're very, very committed to doing this the right way. In a special touch, it will be loaded full of artwork from the community. Right now, there are still 300 job openings available, and there's still time for you to apply if interested. We've got a link with all those details on our website, whas11.com.